So in our study, similar to the previous Mansoni study and the one that was done with recombinant human lactoferrin, we're continuing to use uh, breast milk. So the kids are receiving whatever they normally take in the unit. So breast milk or formula or a mixer of these things. So I think the important message is that in our study, right now we're measuring the amounts of lactoferrin that's present in mom's milk and we're finding very high levels. Mm -hmm. So even if we conclude this study and we have positive results, the most important take home message is that breast milk, a fresh breast milk for mom, has a lot of these protective factors that are present and probably at values that are much higher to what we're giving to the infants in the trial. No? Okay. Uh, so I think that's the most important thing. Of course, we want to do the study to demonstrate that this works, mm -hmm. and probably for specific populations, this will be something important to add in pediatric care, especially for the ones early in life where they cannot receive a good um, volume of mom's milk, mm -hmm. and they can be supplemented with this protein for a protective effect. It's also possible in the future, for example, for HIV-exposed patients that cannot receive breast milk, they can receive this protective factor if we um, prove in this trial and in subsequent trials that lactoferrin actually works.